Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. The transfer window is officially over and Captain Cool, Mr. Aubameyang signed for Barcelona. That came out of the blue for me, out of nowhere, just like uh, RKO. Because I didn't really believe that Barcelona were going to buy him permanently. I thought it was going to be just a loan so they can negotiate in summer if they want to keep him. But out of the blue, his contract at Arsenal was terminated and he signed as a free agent. For me, this is a win-win situation for everybody, okay? Barcelona are getting a player on free. They only have to pay the agent fee and the sign-on fee, but not as much as they would have paid for Arsenal if they had to buy Aubameyang in normal circumstances. Arsenal are going to save a lot of money in salary because they don't have to pay somebody that they don't want. They need Aubameyang, but they don't want him. So sitting on a bench and getting 350k a week was going to be very costly for Arsenal. So that's why I said it's a win-win situation. Aubameyang is happy in sunny Barcelona. Arsenal are happy to get rid of somebody that they didn't want anymore in the team. You have to appreciate also Aubameyang for making some sacrifices because certain players will say, I'm not going anywhere. You have to pay me all my money, just like Ozil and other players that I know. So Aubameyang took a salary cut to join Barcelona for the love of football, for people who've been saying that uh, Aubameyang is finished and he doesn't love football anymore. That is a proof he's taking a salary cut just so he can realize his dreams of playing for Barcelona. So, good luck to Captain Cool, Mr. Aubameyang in Barcelona. Hopefully, he can help them finish top four and score a lot of goals in the Europa League and probably win it. Who knows? It's Barcelona we're talking about here, right? A sleeping giant. Aubameyang is gonna prove people wrong because he's not a bad player. He was just at the wrong place, I believe. And the non-negotiable policy at Arsenal is just stupid. Like if you commit a little mistake or whatever mistake you're gonna commit at Arsenal, you are out. Arteta is trying to copy Pep Guardiola, but do you really have the financial muscles to get rid of players all the time? Can you replace Aubameyang in this current period? And what's going to happen with their fight for top four? Because you sell Aubameyang and you couldn't get anybody else. Vlahovic didn't want to come to a team that are not in the Champions League and they are not even sure to qualify for the Champions League next season. Many players are going to reject them if they don't finish top four. So what the point of getting rid of somebody who can give you something? I don't know. The non-negotiable policy at Arsenal, like I said, is really stupid. So let me know, my friend. Do you think that Arsenal are going to finish top four? Because they don't have a striker. They don't have anybody to score goals. They have Eddie and Ketia. They have Lacazette, who are, you know, iffy. <laughs> Very shaky in front. But... Aubameyang is a proper, proper goal scorer. He got the golden boot, I don't know how many times, a couple of times, right? So it's not for nothing that he scored a lot of goals in the Premier League. Something happened and it can also happen to anybody, okay? You lose a little bit of confidence and you're going to go for a long period of time without scoring goals. It doesn't mean that you are finished because he's like 31 years old. He still has, apparently, you know, probably more than four years to, to score a lot of goals. So I think Aubameyang is determined and he's gonna score a lot of goals in Spain and Arsenal are gonna regret for letting him go. 
And if they don't finish top four, I can see another campaign with banners in the stadium are theta out because you have no excuses, okay? You had a gunman who can score you a lot of goals. You didn't want to use him. You had Saliba. You had Gwendozi. You know, the so-called bad boys. You get rid of them instead of negotiating and try to get the best out of them. So who are you going to blame? The lack of number nine? No, because you had a number nine and you didn't want to use him. Now everything is on you, Arteta. You have to prove people wrong. You have to create some magic, score goals, and qualify for top four. You are not in any European competition. You are not in FA Cup or Carabao Cup. You are only in the Premier League and no more excuses. Let me know in the comment. Do you see Arsenal finishing top four this season? And if he doesn't make it to top four, do you think he should be sucked?